Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue liquor shields, dust lace, our spices, vessels, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome, and today I want to talk about Lebanon. First of all, I want to mention the fact that you're getting a lot of bonus videos this weekend because it's raining here in Seattle, which I love. <clears throat> and the other thing I want to point out is this is a, a send from my friend Bert Powers, a compatriot who also has a YouTube channel, and I'm sure most of my uh, regulars are familiar with his work, but he sent me this article, and I want to talk about it now. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, U.S. basically sending arms to Lebanon and the Lebanese military. And this is uh, interesting for a number of reasons. One, of course, we had the uh, recent incursion of El Nusra Front and uh, Islamic State forces into Arsal in um, Lebanon uh, recently, but the uh, Lebanese forces apparently dispatched them quickly. But this also comes in the, the uh, aftermath of uh, two very large um, uh, gifts from Saudi Arabia to the Lebanese military, including I think something like three billion dollars. I'll attach my previous video about that uh, below. So we see this infusion into the Lebanese army and um, it's a pretty substantial amount right off the bat, $20 million uh, that's uh, starting to be delivered now. It includes grenade launchers, assault rifles, anti-tank missiles, and mortars. And uh, we actually have some numbers, 480 anti-tank guided missiles and 1,500 M16A4 rifles and, quote, many, unquote, mortars and uh, apparently more ammunition and heavy weaponry on the way. So now we have the U.S. Uh, once again uh, flooding the Middle East uh, with weapons. So there's a number of uh, problems with this. Uh, first of all, we have Hezbollah is an integral part of uh, Lebanon, both its political system and its military. Even though Hezbollah in itself is an entity, a lot of Hezbollah sympathizers uh, are, are, are part of the government and part of the military. And therefore, uh, once again, uh, we get this uh, confusing distribution of a lot of uh, heavy weaponry and weaponry to those with questionable loyalty. And, and when we, the United States policy does this over and over and over again in, in, in that region. And I'm not saying that it perhaps might be a legit, legitimate case uh, for giving weapons to the Lebanese army to defend themselves. And uh, the U.S. is obviously grasping at everyone they can. As I mentioned in my video before, the PKK and now Lebanon, anyone that can be involved in fighting uh, the Islamic State. That includes uh, uh, recent uh, revelations about uh, working uh, with Assad to a certain degree to uh, take on the Islamic State in Syria. So, uh, so here we have uh, another uh, state that has the same dynamic between uh, Shias and Sunnis. Uh, in local violence, and, uh, and we have this flood of U.S. weapons. We have this uh, semi-legitimate uh, uh, group, Hezbollah, this group that's known as a terrorist group that operates uh, as an integral part of the Lebanese government military uh, that are going to be uh, recipients of these weapons. And then we also have this uh, intense relationship with Saudi Arabia uh, providing a lot of money for Lebanon and for the Lebanese military. And interestingly, the uh, press statement uh, uh, from the United States was the weaponry and ordinance was, quote, paid for by the American people, unquote. So uh, it looks as though this $20 million in arms to Lebanon is a gift. And um, I was curious if there was any connection between the money that Saudi Arabia is giving to them and whether it was uh, turn it being uh, turned around and spent in the, on the United States for weapons, but apparently this is a gift. So once again, a very complicated uh, scenario in the Middle East, the U.S. trying to put together some kind of a weird coalition uh, of all sorts of different parts to take on the Islamic State, now working with uh, the Maliki, or the ex-Maliki government, the uh, government in Baghdad, working with Assad in Syria, working with the PKK and the Kurds, uh, working with Sunni insurgents, uh, working with um, uh, Iranian elements, and, uh, and the list goes on. Uh, now uh, working with elements in Lebanon. Okay, 
I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?